Now we know how electric field lines are represented near individually charged points. In this tutorial, we'll consider what happens to these field lines when we have multiple charge points in a region. Let's say we have two positively charged points. Being positive, we know that the field lines are away from each of the charged objects. Let's consider this point here, A. Now, the first charge, Q1, has the greatest influence on A, as it is closest. Thus, our electric field EA equals E1, the field resulting from Q1's charge, plus E2, the field resulting from Q2's charge, and with vector addition, we can see that EA is going to be to the right. Consider point B right in the middle of these two charges. Thus, the electric field from each charge would be equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. So, EB equals E1, which is going to the right, plus E2, which is going to the left, and we're right back where we started, or zero. The electric fields cancel out here. If you put a charged particle here, it wouldn't be pushed to the left or the right. Much like a Lagrange point in space, that point where gravitational pulls from multiple objects cancel each other out. Let's consider one last point, C. We have E1 directed away from Q1, and E2 directed away from Q2 here, and we can rearrange them to have a 2D vector addition. If you had some numbers, you could determine the exact magnitude and direction of EC.